we are recording. So, um, thank you all for getting on. It's, I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in forever. I don't know. I guess just because I've been unplugged for the last couple of days, a little bit because of the weddings. I'm still rocking my wedding hair. It's fine. I've washed my makeup off. It's okay. <laughs> um, but anyways, it feels like it's been like the longest week ever. Um, and we have what today and two days left in the month. So it's like, crunch time if you're pushing for a promotion if you are let me just start out with all the reminders first and then we'll jump into it so make sure you have your two auto ship customers to get your free product if you read more than one account make sure you get it on all the accounts so you can get all the free product credit um if you do have your two customers try and get some higher customers because you know it goes by um you get the equivalent of two. So say Tasha and Kaylee order 150 from me a piece, but then Shakira comes on here and orders like 180. So I get the equivalent of the two highest. So you want people to spend more money so you get more credits if that makes sense. So if you do have your two customers, try to get some higher customers in. Um, two more months, I mean two more days until the month is over, make sure that you are following up with, shoot, I haven't even done this, so we're, we were late follow up with all of those people go through your so go to in your back office go to my customers and then go and see who signed up for an account from the first to the 15th that didn't order because they haven't used their 25 and free credits yet so reach out to those people make sure they do because i know i have one customer that made like four accounts so i'm about to message her and be like hey girl <laughs> use your credits so make sure those people know that because they have to be used by Tuesday at midnight. It's they're gone after that. So make sure that you reach out to those customers. And even if they just place like a flat tummy pill order or something, you know, they can get that, those deals. Um, trying to think if you're pushing for a promotion, reach out to someone like your VIPs. I know those don't usually end on the last day of the month, but still, um, make sure you're reaching out to someone if you are pushing for 4k just all the things um let's end this month out strong though um we have this deal that is ending tonight at midnight so make sure that if you're ordering you put your order in in the next three hours apparently credits can be used so that's awesome um so yeah i think um, i think that's it i don't think i'm forgetting anything make sure that you're qualified and active make sure you or your customer has placed over $100 in orders. You have to have 100 in the PV, so personal volume, to be qualified and active to get your commissions next month. So make sure you do all of these things. Um, and I think that's it. So tonight we have Tasha sharing. She's one of our 4K leaders. Um, she is gonna share just all her tips on, you know, just her journey, um, manifesting like all the things that she's made happen in the last few months. So. I'm going to pass it over to you and let you do your thing. Well, there it goes. Did it work? Yes, now it did. Hi, I'm Tasha. I know there's a lot of new people on here. Um, I'm pretty quiet, so <laughs> this is definitely new for me. I've never, ever done network marketing, and I've actually been here over a year. It took me a while to hit 4K. Um, that was one of the things I wanted. To let you all know, like, I used to think that they talked about consistency, but until I did it myself and applied myself, like, they had preached to us, there is a reason that they do that. <laughs> because I was stuck trying to hit 4K for, like, over a year. And then I told Kaylee on May 1st, I was like, look, I'm buckling down. Um, this is my month because... I watched her and a girl under me hit their, uh, the goats that they had out right before May came. And I was like, wow, if they can do, one of my girls did $1,000 in two days. I was like, if she can do that, then why am I still stuck here? Like, it's me. It's me. There's nobody else to blame. It's not because, oh, well, I've never done this before. And I used to use the excuse of, well, I fumble with my words. So every time anybody would message me, I would freak out and not even respond until I'd send stuff to Kaylee and be like, hey, how does this look? That's something else I told her I wasn't doing the month of May. And I started being me and just really buckled down on manifesting. The first day of May, I said I was going to do it and I did all of May. And that's literally all that I done different was consistent with manifesting. And then 
it, it just happened. <laughs> it happened and it was the craziest thing ever. So until you like do that and you feel that feeling, I know like I was hesitant and I was iffy about it too. But once if that happened like 100%, no doubt, there's nothing that you can't do if you actually try and you tell yourself that you're doing it and it'll happen. I know it sounds crazy. I thought it was crazy, but it, it really works. <laughs> so um, share with them how you started your manifesting journey. You just started watching like Amanda Francis YouTube videos, right? How did you start? Okay, well, I started doing like the affirmations the month of April. There's a really good one that I personally feel is really good. I wake up and do in the mornings. And then I started asking in May what was the best to do. Um, I started Amanda Francis and um, Catherine, how, how do you say your last name? Zentina, I think, yeah. Yeah. I'm not even at the magic too, right? Or Yeah. We, um, I've got like two more days of that that I didn't finish last month. That was my thing. My dad went to the hospital and I let that get in my way. And I have not hit 4K this month because of me. <laughs> not because of anything else, because I let my excuses get in my way. So I'm preaching to myself right now too. <laughs> so what do you think are um, like your biggest tips on pouring into yourself and getting out of your own way and all of that. Consistency, definitely. And not to let negative, like, okay, if one bad thing happens, don't set and go off of that one bad thing. Like you're going to have to brush it off and keep going. It's like, for me, I let my dad being in the hospital, get me out of my routine. And just that little bit for two weeks completely threw me way off and I had to like literally restart everything so that and as far as business wise if you have promoters like I know I've had a bunch of people sign up under me and a lot of times like they'll do it for a, a little bit and then they see that it's not quick money or that they actually do have to work and then they're they're gone you know they ghost you and I used to chase people I guess you would say and that's been one of my things is letting go of people that's not wanting to do for themselves. Like you can't make somebody do it. You are bringing yourself down, trying to make them do something that they're just going to have to do because they want to do. So that would be like the biggest tip for the, uh, as far as <laughs> I'm trying to think about is how to work. That would be my biggest tip for the sales part and how I would apply it to working every day. Well, and I can it. tell y'all like her, she's all, like, when you do your personal development, when you show up consistently, when you get to that point to where you're over and you're ready from, to promote, other people can see it. I can see the mindset growth in her, you know, the personal growth, the growth in her just over the last year, the goal isn't a rank. Let's be honest. No. The ranks are no. great. The money can be great, but the goal is to grow yourself. Yes. Don't be the same person today that you were a year ago. That's the goal. Don't be the same person tomorrow that you were today. Every single day you need to make improvements. You need to show up and do more. And I don't mean like work more, but do more for yourself. Pour into yourself. You know, um, if you're in the slightest bit interested in or intrigued or whatever in manifesting, you can go to YouTube and search anything. But our team pages, like if you feel like you're struggling with signing customers or customer retention or whatever, there's trainings out there for absolutely everything. So like for real, I still watch training videos in the training team pages. Like you would think I know it all, right? Nope. Like I still watch all the trainings. I still pour into myself daily because the thing is, so that's another thing. If you feel like you're posting and you don't know what to post about, it's because you didn't do your personal development. I can tell on days where I poured into myself and I didn't, that's how my posts look. You have to pour into yourself because it just, it just, you know, you, they say you can't pour from an empty cup. That is the case because 
it's like it's overflowing. Like if you're constantly just pouring into yourself and you're learning all the new things, it's just seeping out of you. Like it's just automatically coming out of you and pouring onto everybody else. That's the goal. You want to leave someone's life better than how you came into it. That's what you offer these people on. It's not just about this business. It's not just signing customers and promoters. It's being that light for people that need you. Like they can say, um, you know, oh, I seen Kaylee on Facebook today. She seems so different now. That's the goal. You don't want to be the same person. Because the thing is, anything that's going on in your life, you're, you are manifesting that. If you don't know what that means, like, it just means anything. If you keep going through, if you don't have enough money to pay your bills every month, it's because you keep living in this hamster wheel. You keep, ju you keep just doing the bare minimum. You keep just showing up like when you need the money. Oh, my bill's due tomorrow. Let me work today. I, my, my, my rent's due next week. I guess I need to do something this week. And I'm not talking about you, Kaylee, like when I talk about, when I say this, but like, like DoorDash, you know, there's so many ways to make quick money now that people don't want to commit to something. Like, oh, I need to pay my bills next week. Let me just do DoorDash or, you know, something simple like that. And I think stuff like that's great, like for extra income or whatever. Like, especially when you have kids and you can work on your own time. It's just like this business. But this business isn't set up like that. It is. As in, like, if you come in and you're in your VIP stage and you, I know we get paid weekly, but you can't just come in and, like, decide to work every single day this week and think that you're going to get paid every single week. Like, this is compounded efforts. This is putting yourself, like, Shakara, she didn't come in and work on day one and then get to 4K for no reason. Like. She came in and talked to all the people and was excited and is still excited and still signing people up. Tasha didn't just stop when she hit 4K and said, okay, I'm done. I made it. You have to keep showing up. You have to keep pushing for that next level. And that's why I, I, we were talking, I, we were just on a leadership Zoom, but I told them, like, I want you all to think of the word overflow for this next month. Even like the next two days is fine. But this word overflow. And you can like, Google overflow, like other words for that. If you don't vibe with the word overflow, that's fine. Go find another one. But that's the one that I'm going with because, you know, I always tell y'all the goal isn't 4K. You don't want to hit 4,002 volume. No, you want to have more than that. I know they ended with more than that that month that they promoted. Like the goal is more. So when you're constantly focused on overflow, like I don't want to just pay my bills this month. I want to pay my bills and have extra. I want to be able to do this and do that. I don't want to just go to the beach and sit at the beach broke, right? I want to go to the beach and be able to go out to eat or go do this or go do that. Overflow is what I want you all to start thinking about. Because when you're constantly focusing on more and more and more in the overflow, then your minimum is going to hit anyways. So do you have anything to share with that? Or do you want to share anything else? I know I went off on a tangent, but. <laughs> it's fine. Like, I agree 100% because, like I said, like in the beginning, I really struggled because I was always constantly comparing myself, you know, like I would look at M and everybody that's done this for forever. And I'd be like, okay, well, I'm not doing that. So I'm, I must be this and I'm not good at this. So if I would have been focused on how to get there instead of why am I not there, then this would have happened a lot faster. So I totally agree on the overflow because like, you said if you're only worried about what you need right now that was me at christmas time i was only worried about what do i need right now not what do my customers need right now what do my promoters need which mom am my friends with that's watching me could really use this you know and then that's whenever i got a promoter was whenever i started thinking about okay how can i start helping others too I feel like that's a big thing. Like try not to focus on you and what you personally need and think about everybody else that's around you. Kind of like the energy you was talking about, you know, like make everybody around you see that energy. Yeah. Um, that's something I need to work on myself because I'm really, I'm mainly on stories, but I barely do lives. And I told Kaylee, that was one of the reasons I hopped for the Zoom so quickly because I figured, okay, well, if I can get on a Zoom meeting, then I have no excuse not to start doing lives, you know? I mean, you've got to figure out what works for you because everybody's different. 
Yeah. And everybody has different trials and issues that pop up in life, but we all have to figure out a way to work through those instead of using them as excuses or using that as the reason that you're not going to apply yourself today. Then until that happens, then you're going to stay exactly where you're at in the hamster wheel, stuck in survival mode instead of trying to get out and trying to think bigger every day. You should think bigger. Yep, I agree. Um, so I think with that too, you know, she was talking about, she got her first promoter when she stopped focusing. Okay. So I know we tell you all to set goals. Like you want to bring in two people this week or, you know, five people next month or whatever. So the same thing with overflow, the same thing with pushing for more, it's not about to, um, it's not about like, Oh, I need this many promoters. I need this many customers. It's like I said, truly showing up and talking to more people, you know, having those conversations and your posts being really good. Focus on your posts. Like the core four that we talk about, that's your focus every day. It's not waking up and saying, I need to sign a customer today. I need to sign a customer. No, it's waking up and saying, I need to put a really good post out. I need to stay on my stories and stay consistent. I need to have some conversations with people and follow up with anyone that needs me. Like if you truly wake up every day just doing those four things, you're going to have people come to you. You're going to have people that want to order from you and you're going to have more than you expect too. So that, that's the thing, just showing up and doing what you're supposed to do every day, but making it like a, I get to, not a have to. You get to work on your phone. You get to make money on your phone. You get to do all these things. You don't have to. I don't text Kaylee or Tasha or anybody and say, hey, work your business today or else. Like, they get to. If they want to or don't want to, that's their choice. It's your choice to be here. It was your choice to show up on the Zoom tonight. So be proud of yourself for the choices that you do make every day. And like I said, just do better tomorrow. Maybe you didn't get on the Zoom tonight. Maybe you're watching the recording. Do better tomorrow. Make sure you're on the training. Make sure you're showing up. Make sure you're pouring into yourself. Make sure that you're talking to more people because that's all this is, is a numbers game. You can talk to all the people. And I'm not saying like talk about the products. It's fine if people are just talking to you in general because they think you're inspiring because of the posts that you're making. That's the thing. Like the way that you show up on social media is why people message you. They're not buying your products. They're buying what you are doing. That's why I said, like, it's not a cocky thing at all. Y'all know I'm, not, I'm like the most humble person, but if I wanted to sell some ice, I'm going to sell some ice. Somebody's going to buy my ice because that's the way that I'm going to show up on social media. I'm going to have the best ice there is. I'm going to show up with my ice every single day on my story and people are going to buy it. Like, that's just, I mean, that's the mentality. Like, it's the same thing if you went to Walmart today and you were like, I'm about to do a Walmart try-on haul. People are going to watch because they like to watch you. I mean, a lot of people are just nosy and they just want to be nosy and watch. And that's fine, too, because they're still intrigued. They're still watching. That's the goal. The goal isn't just, oh, I want people in my inbox every single day about products. You want people in your inbox because they want to follow you and see what you're doing. They want to see how you mom. They want to see how you drive. I don't know. Like all the things, show up every day and just show yourself. And I promise you it makes the difference. So um, do you have anything else to add? If not, I mean, we can just keep it like super short tonight because I feel like we got the point across. So are you good? Okay. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I just wanted to like leave y'all with a little bit of encouragement for the end of the month and just tell you all like, don't be hard on yourself. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. As long as you're showing up every day and showing yourself, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, we don't cold message people. We don't do all these dang things. You're showing up and doing what you're supposed to do. And that's what matters. So I want you all to focus on that every morning. Don't be hard on yourself and say, I got to do this, this, and this. No, say, I get to post on my social media today when I get, it, when I get time. And be really intentional on these posts too. Show up as, you know, this leader that you are or that you want to be. And that's what people are going to follow. So I think that's about it. Like I said, I didn't want to keep y'all forever tonight. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I had anything else to share. I was trying to think. No, I think we're good. So um, let's just rock out the end of the month. Like I said, make sure you have your customers and do all the things that I said in the beginning. Um, make sure that you reach out to those customers that didn't order and maybe have credits on their accounts. Um, and then just reach out to people and see if they need anything. 
just your regular customers. Maybe they already ordered from you this month. Just check in. Hey, how are you doing? So anyways, I hope y'all have a great night. Thanks for getting on with me and let's just rock out this new week and end of month and new month this week. So I hope y'all have a good night.